Good afternoon, everyone. It's Gary from CloudNet360. And today I just wanted to close out the week. It's Friday at about 4.10 p.m. And yes, I'm still here. I'm not at the beach. I'm not on the ski slope. I'm actually still in the office. I'm still working. And honestly, I plan on doing a couple hours more work before I call it a night. And I'll probably log on tomorrow and do a little bit more work. Because that's the reality when you're working a serious job, when you're working in a serious business. You are going to put in the time, you're going to put in the effort, and you're actually going to like it. It's something you're interested in, something I'm interested in. So I don't really consider it to be a burden or a chore to do these things. I just like doing them. But there's a common misconception out there right now about what a funnel is. People seem to be confused, and i got to give these guys credit because they've done a masterful job at marketing what a funnel is versus what it isn't. Now, when you come into this Funnel Hacking Live, and I've been getting a lot of advertisements for this lately, which is what gave me the impetus to do this video. When you come into these sales pages, they want you to believe that somehow, miraculously, the funnel is doing the work for you. But that is a total misconception. What you're really doing with a funnel is you are defining the work. You can also be automating the work, but the funnel itself doesn't automate the work. The funnel defines the work and something else automates the work. For example, you can have an opt-in form that's automating the work. Okay, That's a piece that gets defined in your funnel. You can have an autoresponder that automates the work. And again, you define that in your funnel. So in your funnel process, you're going to have traffic, you're going to have an opt-in, you're going to have a follow-up sequence, maybe an upsell, whatever the case may be, there is a funnel that defines what that process is. And then there are tools that actually do the work that will automate it for you. And sometimes that tool is you, okay? But the funnel defines where you come into the system. Now, every once in a while, you get people to actually slip up and um, maybe tell the truth, okay? And when you come into this little nugget of truth, you'll find out that the person promoting the funnel is the only thing that matters, is also the person telling you that they've been talking about funnel hacking life almost every day for six months. In other words, in their funnel, they are putting in a definition of speak about funnel hacking, teach people about funnel hacking, promote funnel hacking. You see, they've used their funnel to define something that a tool has to do, like an autoresponder, which is what I received this from, and the fact that they have to talk about funnel hacking live all the time. Now, where it really gets a little confusing is when people start saying things like this. And I'm not sure if this is going to pick up on the recording, so I'll repeat it at the end. A funnel is what builds your business now. I Basically, if you couldn't hear that, it said, a funnel is what builds your business now. Again, that is totally false. 100%, 1000% false. A funnel doesn't build your business. A funnel defines the steps you need to take, the things that need to happen in order to build your business. So when you talk about a funnel, again, you are going to have tools defined inside your funnel, which actually do the work. For example, you're going to have a shopping cart that's going to automate the sales of the process. You are going to have an upsell. Again, this is an automated process, but it's not a funnel. It's an upsell system. You have your autoresponders which are going to do the work sending out the broadcast. They're going to send out the autoresponder messages. It's going to send out the text messages. It's going to send out your survey. The survey is then going to trigger things to happen through automation, but that's not the funnel. That's something you've defined in the funnel. This is what a funnel actually looks like. You see, you've got all these different steps. Now, again, this is a text message. This is an alert. This is an email. This is a, well, one of those sales calls but the computer isn't going to make the sales call. A person's going to make the sales call, but that's also going to get defined in the funnel when they're going to do it, who's going to do it, and what the reason is for doing it, okay? This is just one of our funnels, but you see all the different things that had to happen. So when you talk about building a business, what you really need to look at is 
what you are doing today, how are you operating your business, how can a system like CloudNet 360 automate some of those steps? How do they follow up with your customer for you? How do they do your customer service survey? Are you sending something out that says, hey, you called up and how did we do? If we did well, the survey will automatically do one thing. And if we did poorly, it'll automatically put you into a sales funnel or a sales path that does another thing. So that's where your automation comes from. So very simply, a sales funnel is what defines what happens in your sales process. The automation comes from tools like a CRM, from an automated survey system, from your autoresponders, and of course, sometimes from you. So when you start talking about funnels, make sure that you understand the difference between what a funnel is and what it isn't, and the fact that when you are in a serious business, you actually have to do some work. There is no funnel that's going to do it all for you because otherwise you wouldn't be necessary in the process, but you are. You have some expertise. You have sales things that you have to do. You have sales messages that you have to write. So when you are serious about running your business, You've got a system like CloudNet 360. It's serious software for serious people that know the difference between what a funnel is, how it defines your steps in your process, and that it isn't your business. A sales funnel doesn't build anything for you. You build your business. Tools like CloudNet 360 will help you automate it. It'll help make things go smoothly. It'll help organize it. It'll automate steps within your business, but it's still the automation that does the automation and the funnel that does the definition. Make sure you understand the difference and you'll be more successful in your business. This is Gary with CloudNet360 wishing you a great day and a fantastic weekend. Go out and let's sell something faster. Bye now. <music>